Hey guys, it is Tuesday and it is 3 o'clock, which means it is live session. So everybody send in your questions as soon as possible. And um, if you don't have questions today, send them on direct messaging service throughout the week. So on Facebook or Instagram, direct message me and we will answer your questions live every Tuesday at 3. Any entrepreneurial business or side hustle questions. Great. Okay guys, so hey SL, Wave, thanks for joining in. Today we are talking about a few of the topics I talked about in the Entrepreneur Magazine. So stay tuned for that. We can talk about it, discuss it live. So if you have questions on it, send it through. So guys, this week um, I was featured in the Entrepreneur Magazine this month. Um, if you haven't got the issue, get it as soon as possible. Uh, it's a great issue. Um, Nadine Todd and her team um, were just awesome in writing the article. It's a real good article. So there you go. It's page 9 to 12. And one of the things I talk about in there is create a sense of urgency, put the pressure on, and take responsibility. So it's in the, uh, it's in the six ways to build your millionaire mindset. So let's talk about that a bit, guys. Create a sense of urgency, put the pressure on, and take responsibility. What does that mean? What does that mean? Let's talk about that. So this is this week's topic and that we're going to talk about today. But just first, some news. We were at the Lions yesterday at Alice Park. I had a talk with the Under-19 Lions team. It was great. I had a lot of fun with them. And then we also had a talk last night in Riddapurt with a few students. Um, great, great. And we are pushing the talks. So guys, if you have, uh, if you're at a company or if you're somewhere and you want to get me in for a talk on a bit of financial education, just direct message us and we'll be there. So guys, let's go for it. Create a sense of urgency. Put the pressure on and take responsibility. What does that mean? So first of all, creating urgency. For example, when you um, just live your daily life and you think, hey guys, I need a million rand. What are you going to do about it? Most probably nothing. You're just going to go on with your day and don't do anything about it. Theo, thanks for joining in. So you're just going to say, hey, I need a million rand. And you're just going to go on with your day and maybe do nothing about it. But if you think about it in another way, let's say one of your loved ones, one of your loved ones, your mother, your father, is in the hospital and they need a heart transplant, otherwise they would die. And the doctor says that the bill is a million rand. How quickly will you get the million rand? Just think about that for a second. And this is something I picked up from Frank Leibrandt in one of his talks. How quickly will you then get that million rand? And that is the urgency. Because there's now urgency, because it's your loved one that's on the line, how quickly will you get that million rand? I bet you'll get it real quick. You'll find a way to get a million rand as soon as possible. And that is the difference. People go through life with no urgency. So there's no need for them to, you know, jump on it, take action, you know, make a, find a way to get a million bucks. But when your loved one is on the line and the doctor says, a million rand for this heart transplant, otherwise your mom or your dad or your uncle is going to die, then you'll find a way. I promise you, you'll find a way to get a million rand as soon as possible. Audrey, thanks for joining in. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of urgency. You need to create that urgency in your life for yourself. So even if it's not a loved one um, that's on, that's, whose life is on the line, even if it's just you, when you wake up in the morning, create that urgency. Tell yourself that, look, today I need to move closer to this million. I need to take action. I need to do something because I'm urgent to get to the million rand and I promise you if you if your mindset is in an urgent type mindset if you are focused on being urgent about this million you will find a way 
okay? You will find a way. And um, that is what I'm talking about urgency. What do you guys think about that? Zander, thanks for joining in. So, SL, Theo, Audrey, and Zander, what do you guys think about what we're talking about? Is it good? If it's good, send the shop and um, share your comments. So, urgency is so important. So, that's the first one create urgency okay then the second one put the pressure on what do I mean by that put the pressure on so if you walk into a store and there's this brilliant Rolex or Tagia watch and it's on it's on the st in the store behind the you know glass and you're like hey I want that watch and then you're like oh but you know what I can't afford it and then you just walk past you're letting your brain off the hook okay now your brain isn't thinking anymore it's like oh, I can't afford it so I just walk on I just continue with life that is not putting pressure on yourself I'm saying that you should put pressure on yourself so I would, what do you mean when you look at that Rolex or tag your watch instead of saying ah oh, I can't afford it rather say how can I afford this how can I afford this Tag Heuer watch? What can I do to get it? And now you're putting the pressure on. Now you're putting the pressure on yourself to come up with an idea, to let your mind think about how to generate the income to afford this Tag Heuer or this Rolex watch. You're putting your mind into action and you're putting some pressure on yourself to generate results in order to buy this item that you really want. Theo is saying shop, SL is saying shop, Theo is saying urgency is the remedy for procrastination. So true. And all three of these things I feel is remedy for procrastination. So the first one is creating urgency. The second one is putting your pressure on yourself. Okay, putting pressure on your mind to think, how can I do this? And to put your mind and your body into action to say, hey, there's pressure on me to come up with a solution there's pressure on me to actually you know think about something to do something because if you say I can't afford this you're just walking away your mind stops thinking this happens in a lot of families as well um, we actually talked yesterday about that when we were at the under 19 Lions game uh, at the 19 Lions um, Academy and I talked a bit to the to the under 19s team and one of the topics that came up was like our parents normally tell us no, don't worry about the finances. We've got this. In the meantime, they don't have it. The finances are not in the right place. It's not in the right condition. But the parents are like, don't worry about it. We've got this. Immediately, they take the pressure off. Because now nobody has to worry about the finances. Everyone just goes on with their lives. But in actual fact, it's better to put the pressure on to say, hey family, we've got a bit of an issue. Okay, we don't have the finances this month. How can we as a family work together or as a group work together to come up with ideas to solve this problem, to improve our finances, to, to save more or to invest more? And that puts the pressure on everyone to just perform, to think, to come up with ideas, to get your brain thinking. So we talked about urgency. We talked about putting the pressure on. And now the third point is um, taking responsibility. And this is the most difficult one, guys. Um, it's saying that I need to take the responsibility of where I am today, where I am in my life, and where I am is a result of all of the decisions I made in the last few years. Okay, I'm taking the responsibility for that. I'm saying that where I am today is my responsibility. It's because of me and me alone. And that's a difficult pill to swallow because a lot of people will say, yes, but it's because of the economy. Yes, because of, it's because of my family. Yes, it's because of my disability. Yes, it's because of, you know, where I come from. It's because of my friends at school. It's because of which school I was in. And there's a lot of reasons. That's, that's valid reasons, guys. Let, real talk. Most of these reasons are valid. Yes, it, it, there is something like called economy that can have an influence on your financial state. There is something called family that didn't teach you the right financial concepts. But you need to take the responsibility to say, look, even though I was dealt a bad hand, even though I was placed in difficult circumstances, 
it is still my responsibility to make a difference, to change it. And if you think that there's an excuse for where you are, just go Google some guys. For every, every reason, for every excuse, there's someone in the world, somewhere, that was in the same situation that changed their stars. That said, look, this is not going to hold me back. And by doing that, they eliminate that excuse for everyone else. For example, I can say, look, I was, I was raised in a lower class income house. My parents didn't know these financial concepts that I'm talking about. My parents were not millionaires. They didn't know how to do this. They didn't know how to do property investments and all of these things. They didn't know how to run businesses. And I could have went with that and said, look, that's life. That was where I was born. I was born in this family and I'm not born into a business family. I'm not born into a wealthy family. But I decided not to do that. I decided to take it into my own hands and read business books, read the financial concepts, learn it, create my own wealth, create my own businesses, and that is how you do it. So take responsibility, guys, for where you are and what you've accomplished. Everything you have accomplished up to today and everywhere or the point where you are at your life today is because of the choices you made and because of the things you've done and the things you've invested in. So that's taking responsibility. Guys, how am I doing? How am I doing? Esal, Theo, Audrey, Zander. Um, how am I doing? What's up in your business? Is there any questions that you have to send, it, to send through so that we can talk about it? Let me know if a shop, if we're on the right track. So guys, we talked today about um, my feature in the Entrepreneur Magazine for March. So if you haven't got the magazine, Put pressure on and take responsibility. So that's a piece that I, um, that I've, that I, with my feature in Entrepreneur Magazine that I talked about. And we now went through, create a sense of urgency, put the pressure on and take responsibility. So I think if you do those th three things, then you can definitely change the way you look at the world. You can definitely change the way um, you, you live in the world, you can change your success rate, and I'm sure that if you focus on those three things, it can definitely make a difference in your business and in your life as soon as possible today. So, guys, that's a bit of my feature on the Entrepreneur Magazine, and just explain that a bit more in detail. Theo is asking, how do you get over the fear of being rejected that can destroy urgency in a lot of people's minds? That is so true. Um, Theo, I get at a lot where people say, look, I have this business idea. I have um, this, this thing that I want to do. I have my passion that I want to follow. But what's going to happen if, if I tell this to my family? What is my family going to say? What is my friends going to say? What if this thing fails? And in terms of you know, that fear that's, that's holding you back, I think, I think we need to rather than focus on the fear that's holding you back rather focus on the regret that you will experience at the end of your life i think i have a bigger fear of regret at the end of my life than i have a fear for tackling this thing now because i don't know about you guys that's just how i experience it to you i have a massive fear for looking at my life at the end of my life when i'm 80 or 90 or 100 they say people are going to live to 120 an hour in our generation with all of their medical advancements. But um, I have a bigger fear in my life to look back and to say, look, have I accomplished enough? Did I not follow that passion that I had? Did I miss those opportunities that were in front of me? That's for me a bigger fear than the fear of actually jumping in and you know getting rejected. I'll rather jump in, do what I love, you know, tackle, tackle my passion and put everything in it and then be rejected or then have it failed. Then being at the end of my life and saying, look, I never gave that a shot. I could have been, you know, a great entrepreneur. I could have changed the world. I could have changed South Africa. I could have made a difference, but I didn't give it a shot. That's a bigger fear for me. So Theo, I don't know if that makes sense. Think about it that way. What fear do you have 
for for you know looking back at your life and and looking at it and saying look I didn't do what I wanted to do you know so so think about it that way instead of the focusing on the fear of rejection uh, think about think about that Theo is saying shop Jason thank you thank you for joining in hello Jason Jason is saying hello cool guys so that's that's what I wanted to share today if you just joined in check the check the live feed from the start at the top in my stories and you will see we talked about um, we talked about creating urgency putting the pressure on and you know taking responsibility for where you are in life and how that can influence your journey and create more success for you and then we talked a bit about the fear of rejection um, versus the fear of um, regret and how that weighs up and if you have a fear of rejection you don't want to jump in change your mindset and think about the fear that you have for being at the end of your life and regretting that you didn't take that that opportunity and I think in my case the fear of regret outweighs it by far so so that's why I just jump in and take every opportunity that I can get cool guys that's all from me for this week tune in every Tuesday at our live sessions at 3 and thank you everyone for tuning in and send your questions throughout the week if you have any more questions awesome guys have a great and successful week.